Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome back uh, to uh, Free Enterprise. We have uh, Garen versus Softnum for you tonight. Uh, bring your own Bacchus versus the uh, the law firm of Golbez, 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 and Golbez. And uh, apparently we're suing the moon tonight. But I am joined with the one, the only, Pain Man herself, Pidge01. Pidge, how are you doing? Hi, uh, it's good to be back. How are you doing? Eh, doing good. This is, uh, like I said, uh, we, we, we are aiming for the moon tonight, uh, and apparently nothing else. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we need six objectives, and, well, darkness locks five of them. I, I think we're going to need that to beat the seat. Yes. <laughs> I'm just looking at the objectives now, and, um, yeah, you're not joking. What yeah. a set of objectives. <laughs> Yeah, so we 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 have really no objectives that lead to key items, which is very weird. It, it, we have everything is terminal, so we we're just basically we need darkness and we're in go mode, darkness and underground access. So it's kind of an old-fashioned crystal hunt, and it's just every check you are you are just worrying from the moment you start. It's like please, please let this be it. Please let this be it. Please. Uh, yeah. And when it's not, you're sad. Yeah, because like five of these objectives are behind the darkness crystal, aren't they? Yes. My goodness gracious. All right. Yep. That is an interesting set of objectives for tonight. And like you said, there's not that many of them that lead to key items. Yeah. You said? yeah on the on these flags, none of them do because none of the summon spots, oh. none of the moon spots yeah. uh, are in the are in the pool. That's right, it's only K-Main and Trap Chest. You know, I like that a lot, but personally. I think that sounds really fun. Yeah, it really changes things up. Um, S-Money, or T-Money, also changes things up. Because we, 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 we need money to buy all the fun things in shops that hopefully we get characters to use. So, until then, uh, I think we're about to get this one underway. Pidge, what are you hoping for tonight? Um, well, actually, since someone in chat said it, I'm hoping for Darkness Crystal as a starting key item, because that would be extremely funny, but, uh... Darkness, yeah, that. <laughs> Darkness would be great. The, the one thing I think maybe I'm hoping for is, uh, Darkness on... Uh, Darkness and Ordeals, because... <sighs> skipping Ordeals has become the meta in this in this flag set, and I'd like to see somebody get rewarded from that, if possible, for making that uh, making that play. That's interesting because I remember like five years ago, Inven saying skipping ordeals is the meta, and that was uh, maybe it was a little prophetic. Um, but this is hero mode, so um, so we would be seeing someone who goes to ordeals like doing their starter character is the only one that fights there. Is that right? I think I think yeah. that uh, I think that setting might actually be after my time in this community, so that's going to be kind of cool to see if I see it. Yeah, it's it's been around since uh, ZZ4 uh, a couple years ago. Uh, it'll put Rydia on her own. Rydia's our hero tonight. It'll put her on her own against whoever's in the Crystal Room and Ordeals. Uh, we are underway, so we can talk more about that later. What are we starting with here? Let's see. We got a Rydia and a Rosa. I love that team. Hello, Sparkle. Oh. It, it is a crystal. It is it's, not the crystal we want. <laughs> yeah, it's a crystal, you know, it's not exactly the one yeah. that, uh, I, you know, I, I was close. I was close yeah. with uh, what I was saying I wanted to see. <laughs> so we have gr the, a, a, aptly put, Girls Night Out team here. Uh, we're really looking for heroin robes, uh, a Stardust Rod for Rydia, maybe Artie Artie for Rosa, but this is a team that, given the right gear, uh, can just sweep the overworld, though it's not going to be cheap. That's very true. Um, those are certainly not easy things to come by. Softnum, um, wanting to do a little shopping first, heading over to Mysidia. Uh, nope, nope. The, the proud tradition of geeking out the commentators. We are not going to Mysidia. Where are we off to? Uh, we are working on getting Garen's feedback. Hopefully we'll have that here shortly. Ah! We want that free summon for Riddy at Hobbs. What do we Ooh. have? That's a good move. Let's see if it pays off. 
Asura is actually going to be very nice. Uh, we have a white mage, so it's less important, but be being able to have Rydia, he, Rydia as a backup healer is helpful. Uh, Asura doesn't get rid of the plot armor ice, but if you leave and come back, uh, all of a sudden the ice is melted. We can go grab those chests at the back of Hobbs, but looks like we're going into Watery Pass. Meanwhile, Garen apparently hit the jackpot in Damsian Basement. Uh, I think I saw at least 125, 150 grain out of that. Uh, My I know, goodness. I know there was some, uh, there was a large amount of of uh, pro stats and probabilities done on different starting locations. That is well over what you would expect from uh, from the MC Basement based off of it, these treasure settings. So that is a lot of money that Garen gets to go play with, and we're going shopping. Mm, no and... sleep in the heroin robe yet. No. We have a decent amount of shops in the overworld, but hopefully we'll track one down. Oh, hi. There, there's that Asura again. Yeah. <laughs> Have Asura at home. 66% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> that is a monk in a bed. Uh, we only have seven characters in the seed, so... We've seen three of them. Life Staff is nice for Rosa, but the Elven Bow might be the real prize here. Give uh, Riddy a little bit of extra damage. Or a little, little bit of extra wisdom to uh, prop up those black spells. But again, we still haven't seen those heavy hitter items that I think we're looking for. Now, can the Stardust Rod appear in shops in this in these settings? Yeah, S Wild is on, so any item has a chance of appearing in in uh, shops. Uh, okay, it's, just like uh, not yeah. the J consumables. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, J items are turned off. Which really kind of changes everything, because as, as racers, we're, we're trained to seek out those Star Veils, those Bacchus, those, occasionally those Illusions. We don't get that anymore. Those safety items, including Hourglasses that we count on, are not of, around to be found. It's just what you have in those opening kits, and that's got to latch, latch you the whole seed. So it's just... It, it just kind of changes your your routing here. You're really looking for items for one or two characters to just be able to get started here on the overworld. See, the more um, nuances I learn about this flag set, the cooler it sounds. This is really awesome. Um, I hope everyone has been thoroughly enjoying this tournament because this is just such a cool concept. Well, we're in week three of four of the potion party uh, flags. Also, cat claws there with the young and the seed is not not a bad thing to find. Uh, we've got this week and one more week on this flag set, and then we swap over to the Moonvale Mixer flags for four weeks, which is a much more traditional uh, free enterprise tournament style flag. So it, it's really nice to kind of change things up for a little bit. Meanwhile, uh, everyone's favorite Mr. Patently Average Kane is found here on Hobbs with uh, with leg. We have leg. And Rosa takes a glare to the face and uh, is no longer. Uh, that glare is nasty. Yeah, and this... It's a really fast... This is not normally a fast spot, but Rydia is very slow for this part of the game. Although... We actually just managed to dodge glare. Kane... Kane <laughs> managed to jump the glare. That is not something you see very often. Uh, we'll take that. Kane man coming in clutch. Apparently we have a... Drain Spear start. Because Kane is healing himself, and Rosa takes more fire to the face. So, as long as Kane can keep dodging those, uh, can keep dodging the the glares, we are invincible. We cannot be killed. <laughs> I am absolutely in love with this, <laughs> this group I can't fight right now. Wow. 
That was cool. That, just, just like dodging all those glares like that with the team at these levels. Very it's, impressive. It's funny. The, the Pixel Remaster speedrun actually fights Zeromus like this, where it auto-battles to Kane jumping every Big Bang. I did not think we would see that against a Ruby five minutes in the seed, but good lord. Honestly, that kind of rules. Yeah. And, and now Sofnum's got another character to work with. Garen, on the other hand, down in Mysidia, which Sofnum went into and left, Garen has found the Stardust Rod. So Dang. all of a sudden, Rydia is ready to go burr. Now and... I have to wonder why Sofnum just noped out of Mysidia as soon as walking in. Well, it, I, I, can, I can understand the play wanting to go get, uh, wanting to go get that, uh, that summon, plus go see what the character is. You don't have the money for anything at that point. So oh, I can understand. I, I, th I think uh, dipping the shot may have been uh, worth it, but at the same time, if you can't buy any, it's really hard. It's hard to justify some of these more out of the way shops at times. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, also, you know, Elven Bow is not bad. No, Rosa with the Elven Bow and with Aim is just. Is, is strong, but Rydia is just laying waste to this ruby. And well, there's no more leg. Leg is done. Well, that was a very different ruby fight than we just <laughs> saw on the right side. <laughs> L much less entertaining, but much safer, much quicker. So that's a decent amount of time picked up there for, for Garen. Choosing to get a little bit of cash here. It's uh, 10 grand's worth it for that chest. It doesn't don't always pay out from that. Meanwhile, soften them. Saving. Remember, remember to save. Save, folks. Yes. The the emote exists for a reason. But we are <laughs> saving and going going into Antline Cave. Again, this is going to be the cane with the drain sword. Uh, the slightly faster Rydia, but there's not a whole lot of damage coming out of Softman's team right now. Garen has. Garen's going to be out of here in one or two uses of that Stardust Rod. So Softon's got a little bit to make up here quickly. Yeah, the Stardust Rod is a real game changer for Garen. Who do we have here? Uh, that is a Bahamut. Ooh. Oh. Oh. That... Rydia did start with the Dancing Dagger. I forgot that. So that will help kind of equalize things. Yeah, also this Bahamut's only got about 1,000 HP. I don't think that either one of them is in any real danger here. No, not at all. Uh, we... Both Rydia should get Warp, which will at least help get out of here a little quicker. Look at the synchronization. What do we have here today? I... Samurai armor and another samurai armor at the same time. Sure. <laughs> Why not? We'll take it. All right. Well, arcane men can get a little beefy, I guess. Yeah, there, there's worse items to be had, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it, oh, and I get gets me every time. Rydia's really got 10 MP. You can use warp twice. Okay, we'll leave. We'll use warp twice to get a Oh. We use warp, we're back into the antlion den. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. There are some places where warp will take you back where you just came from. Sometimes it's a set point up a floor. Not, not, not here. Oh, and we are back synced. Are, are we sure this is two different? Okay. We split up there for a moment. <laughs> but I, was, picture. I was wondering for a moment, to be perfectly honest. Well, some more shopping. I think right now the you're really looking for a Bahamut orb. I think even more than heroin robes, you're looking for that Bahamut orb. Though a white spear for Kane is not bad. Uh, you got you do have a tiara for Rydia. You have a boom, grab a boomerang in case you see an edge, so you can back row him when, uh, if he shows up. But it is that Bahamut orb that is, would really change the seed right now. Uh, meanwhile, we're greeted by uh, three guards in a trench coat. Uh, Officer Soldier here at uh, the football defense. 
that's uh seems like a pretty nice fight to get here. Yeah, it's one of the few bosses that isn't affected by the no free bosses flag. Uh, or be no free. It loses the it gains the boss bit, so you can't hit it with any statuses, but if you knock out the soldiers, the officer still runs, which is which is very nice. Yeah, for sure. And uh, the three red ones have a lot less HP. I don't think either one of them, I don't think that uh, Sopnum is going to have too much problem here. Uh, our reward is the budget white spear. Uh, <laughs> the gunier itself. That's nice. It's not a white spear, but it's nice. Sopnum's decided they want the uh, full XP from the spot. They're going after the officer first. Uh, meanwhile, Garen is like, no, I want this fight over, we're leaving. Yeah, it's... One of the interesting things in this flag set is... What do you buy immediately, regardless of characters? And Boomerang is one of those items that... At three grand, it's probably worth buying one, just in case... Uh, an Edge shows up? Yes. Edge on... Um... Oh no, Edge is not... Is Edge restricted in these settings, or is it just no. Cecil? No. Okay. Uh, ju just Cecil, yeah. So, it, no. um, I, th I th Yeah, I think you're looking... I think it's kind of a decided crystal rings, glass mask, uh, ribbons, maybe the Stardust Rod are pretty much insta-buy regardless of your party. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, how much of an EXP difference is it to take out uh, the main soldier versus taking out the three cronies and having him run away? It's about half. The officer has about half the EXP in this fight. Okay. So at, at this spot, it's going to be about 2,500 or so. So it's a couple levels early on. Yeah, I guess in a, in a, a flag set where you can't buy sirens and uh, can't grind enemies, you maybe you want to get as much EXP as you can early game. It changes a little bit because there's no Z fight at the end, but early levels definitely help. I mean, you can see right there this, just what the Stardust Rod did. Garen has been out of that fight for several minutes before Sophnum was able to get through that. Very Meanwhile, true. Baron Inn is holding a duplicate cane, so there's no character here for us. And uh, we have uh, our thriller reenactment, our zombie dance party here at the first Baron spot. Uh, or, never mind. Was there a boss here? That didn't last very long. <laughs> oh, my body, and we move on. Oh. This is actually not fun. That's kind of, that's a little bit more rude. Yeah. It's a very slow spot, so Rydia, Rydia has the crystal ring on Garen's side, I'm pretty sure, so that'll help speed things up a little bit and slow Leviathan down, but this spot is going to hurt with the Ice 2s. They're going to deal in the four to 500 damage range when they hit. Might want to throw up a Star Veil just to make sure somebody lives. That said, we're probably about halfway through at the moment. So if we if Rydia can dodge a couple ice twos, here's hoping that might be enough. Well, there was a Sylph in the Baron item shop. That's a nice find for Rydia right now. Uh, bye, Rosa. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, Kane would have lived on that, but Rosa decides to take a nap. Can't blame her. Naps are great. Agrees. A nap. Uh, <laughs> But Leviathan is down, and uh, we have our magma key. We Ooh, have underground. Very nice. That uh, I I believe that um, they're guaranteed to get underground access via the magma key. So it's uh, it's nice to find it at this point. It also puts us in darkness go mode. The 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 good old ice rod hunt. Uh, to borrow from another uh, another randomizer, our darkness is go mode. And we have a choice today, actually. We find ourselves in the weird situation that we're as soon as we find darkness, we're going to have access to seven objectives. We only need six. So what do we fade is the question. Very good question. There are several bosses, of course, that we don't want to see on the moon. You wouldn't know anything about any of those, right, Pitch? No, absolutely nothing. 
Uh, your avatar would say differently. Uh, My avatar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a certain, uh, a certain northern note noodle as well. Uh, note noodle. Yes. Ogo or Pain Man, really anywhere on the moon would be quite nasty. I love being reminded of these memes that I was like the <laughs> progenitor of and completely <laughs> forgot that I was the progenitor of. <laughs> and still exist after all this time. That makes me unbelievably happy, just so you know. <laughs> Look, once you start in Free Enterprise, there's no getting away from it. It's actually here. true, and I absolutely love that about Free Enterprise. Like, for the last five years, I've maintained it's, like, possibly the best gaming community on the internet. Well, we have our first monster box that we're just trying to hack our way through. The Mad Ogres. Uh, we do have Mute Arrows and an Elven Ball and Roses, so that will help. Kane is doing his best. Um, and doing some damage. We are getting the life glitch, so that'll be a little extra XP coming out of here. <laughs> Excuse me. Meanwhile, Garen, I uh, took a look at the aggregate shops. I did not see anything that uh, was purchased, but we has decided, no, I I've had enough of the overworld. Let's go, let's go see what the dwarves are hiding today. Let's go underground. Let's, uh, let's see if a darkness crystal is a free item in Land of Summons. That... <laughs> <laughs> that very well could be on it on their mind right now. If if that happens, I'm actually gonna pop off into another dimension. Apparently, arty bows and power shirts were in Agart. Um, we need money, and we need lots of money. Yes. But we are headed straight for the fame march. That freaky item, possibly as well. I don't think quite taking on the warrior chest just yet. I don't know if we'd be able to survive that, but it, there's a possibility. I, I love uh, I love the bravery of um, opening these chests while taking damage from these things when that warrior chest is there. I love it. Look well, at all that money. We do have the starting hourglasses, so we just need to survive the opening round of punches. The problem is there's five of them. Uh, whoever has the crystal ring might be able to survive with a little bit of, uh, lucky targeting. Uh, meanwhile, the Mad Ogres resulted in an Artie Bow, so that Rosa just got a huge upgrade. That's kind of a big deal. Now, Thopnum, or Garen able to dodge the Warrior Chest and comes up with an, well, an either a nice, a nice sword, a nice dart, or... 63,500 gold. Well, there, I don't know yet. There's uh, there's that Bahamut orb we were talking about earlier. Yep. So, oh. oh heroin robes. Let's go. Oh, man, there is value in the Fae Marsh today. Okay. We just got a major power upgrade. Artie Bo <sighs> Softum has a heroin or has an Artie Bow. Gary knows where they are. Garen has a heroin robe. Uh, Murder Rosa, Murder Ridia are both on the table. So the question is, who's doing the murdering to... Oh. Ooh, well, oh, I think hi. that's a that question. <laughs> so, we have a sparkle on the right in that Asura spot. I think we're going to get a peek at who that is right now. Uh, well, maybe not. It looks like we're not going to take the save. But that those Mega Sisters at Leviathan... Uh, have you ever l wanted to see an Ice 2 do, like, 1,400 damage? Yes, I've always wanted to see that, actually. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen at that spot. Uh, <laughs> if we live to see Virus, it's going to be in the 2,000 range. My goodness. Yeah. Well, I guess we know who's gonna be doing the murdering. Well, we, we want characters. We want characters. So, we're going to head to Dwarf. We do have a Sylph for Garen. Well, we also have Bahamut. The Sylph glitch would have been useful, but no, we're just... We're just gonna blarg things. Hey, so I guess we really did have that White Spear at home. <laughs> Three White Spear in, Eb in Eblem. So we're starting to find power. We just don't really have a ton of characters at the moment. Black Cat Lamia... 
a little dangerous here for Sofnum. Although we do have that white spear, which will take care of most things, but here comes the blust. Uh, bye, Rosa. Oh, we live. Bluster has the rare side effect of just paralyzing you instead of killing you, so Rosa getting off lightly there. I well, actually did not know that. I don't think I've ever seen that in any of the seeds that I've played. I don't know what the chance of it just paralyzing versus uh, versus uh, killing are, but uh, it is you. You are always ready for the character to fall, and you're just happy when they when they they just don't move. I uh, yes, absolutely, especially in a situation like this where you want all the exp you can get your hands on. Also, uh, we we got our Asura cast, and. We, we got our gray face. Life ones for three characters who are still alive. Are, are we gonna... Uh, we, we just got a chocobo kill on Softnum's side. Unbelievable. We just got a <laughs> chocobo kill. That is, that is stylish. That's like when you're just like, you could play the game, but you're not just playing the game. No. You want to style on the game. Uh, I... That actually, you probably still want to use the dance and data, but it is quite nice. Uh, yes, yes, our researcher is pointing out we, we, we all the cecils in the seed are you know right right here on the display, as we as we had to ensure. We get the very rare chocobo kill out of there. Sometimes you just gotta do a chocobo kill for the fans. Yep. Uh, Garen is going to take advantage of that Sylph glitch, uh, where uh, to keep his party healed while doing a fair bit of damage to this karate. For some reason, <laughs> who the heck knows why, Sylph does not actually cost MP if Riddy is not in the center slot. Why? Look, video game programming in the early 90s was hard. Who, who actually knows? I mean, it, it, it's still pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're not wrong with that statement. Uh, Karate, on the other hand, uh, apparently is, is not a fan of Sylph. And to say, no, you're done casting that. Just go take a nap. So, we're making our way through here. Softum's gonna find that uh, Stardust Rod that he noped out of earlier. Zeus Gauntlets and Sork Robes also in the Mysidia Armor Shop. Which are both very nice to find. Uh, Kane will take that uh, Zeus Gauntlet and be happy. There's some lit arrows too in the Mysidia shop. Oh, do not sell the power shirt, please. Oh. Found well, the Stardust Rod. Yeah, we also accidentally sold the white the uh, white spear. So hopefully we don't need that later. Although we do know where another one is. Should we need that? Should we have to buy it? Oh dear. Yep, Garen has made his way through the karate and has found an Odin and a third cane. We still don't have another character. This is the cane man seed. This is a damage. You know, those lit arrows would be really nice to have right now, but I guess when you have the power of a dragon god on your side, that that's that's all you really need. Yeah. Who needs more characters when you have a Bahamut summon? Uh, I think we'd like more characters to get experience, but honestly, no. <laughs> Bahamut's all you need right now. But, <laughs> I mean, you could really slap the heroin robe on Rydia to speed her up and just let her nuke everything right now. <laughs> I will never get tired of uh, of the differently colored hand animations in uh, in this dwarf castle cutscene. Yeah, I think I'm partial to the ghost hand from the Demist. Same. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so rare you actually get to see it. Now, what you mentioned about Sylf earlier and how it's uh, MP is affected by what slot it's cast from. I think that's what you said earlier. I feel like I learn something new about this game every time I watch it, and 
that's like one of the coolest things about Free Enterprise. Absolutely amazing. I'm yeah, just, there's so much to learn. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what you learn, you're going to find something new in just about everything, every seed you play. It's, there's just so much to find. And, ugh, sometimes it drives you a little batty to, to figure <laughs> everything out. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Garen, taking advantage of the warp glitch, found himself the tower key uh, behind uh, what is uh, Luca key in Seal Cave and the pink tail from Dwarf. Both decent items. Tower key gives us another check. We also found crystal rings in the Dwarf shop. Ooh. So those are going to be a very nice bit of gear for later. Softnum is making a bit of a counterplay here and going toward ordeals without the Cecil or the Tella. Uh, well, there there was a, there was a dragon there. There is no longer a dragon there. <laughs> and Asura is hiding in uh, in the back attack spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Somewhat of a free fight, although. I think we're going... Or, or, oh, no, we're just going to cast Bahamut and, and be done with it. Oh, no, we're going... No, we're going for the double veil. Oh, we have Artemis arrows in... Tamra. Well, hello. We, we, we do now have already, already heroin for that Rosa. Um... So we can just have Rosa Zerk herself and have Rydia summon a dragon god, and that's most of the seed. That's really all we're going to do for most of the seed at this point. Is, uh, is that what uh, Murder Rosa and Murder Rydia means? I'm, uh, yes. I'm not up to date on my FE slang. <laughs> yes. We, we, we have a very angry murder child and a slightly more angry murder adult. Love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> so Rosa and Kane cutting down Asura <laughs> and putting down... Uh, Rydia for her nap. I mean, she is only five years old after all. She does need a nap. We're about 30 minutes into the seed. <laughs> Kids but get she... tired. They need naps. Well, the game's gonna game's gonna wake her back up shortly. <clears throat> and we're going to find ourselves in that uh, in that ordeals fight where it's normally also, I, I, shout outs to 89 white arrows on Rosa. I, I'm, I'm qui I quite enjoy this. R what, this, what is the, this is the vanilla DKC spot, of course. Cecil goes into the changing room, becomes a paladin, walks out with a legend sword. So with Sea Hero, why not? Let's let's add that back into the game. Let's have a little fun. Riddy is going to go in here on her own and face whatever boss is here by herself. We will see this key item. Softnum obviously looking for a uh, for darkness crystal. Hoping for a darkness crystal <laughs> and is rewarded <laughs> with a darkness crystal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no way. I, I would I would like to preface this. I would like to preface this. I did not play the seed in advance. I did not know that was there when I uh when I called when I asked for that earlier in the seed. Oh my goodness! What a seed! No. How would you like Insta Go mode? Because Softnum's running out of spaces on the overworld. I think we have Flame Dog in the in uh, Tower of Zot. And Baron in left for Sophnum. So he's gonna come across that Bagma key. And that's go mode. And panic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now Magma Key was in Baron in, correct? Yes. I see. I see. Yeah. Uh, so we know that Mega Sisters are at the Leviathan spot, and an unknown sparkle that is not Pale Dim is at the Asura spot. We have no idea what's all of them on the moon. I'm excited to find out. I think 
again, we, we, we can choose to ignore one of these objectives. I think looking at this, the, ch the obvious choice is the giant. Yeah, I would agree with that. Unless, like... Yeah. That's the big unless. <laughs> is, is, is Dean Machine, like, viable in these settings? Uh, Eno XP is on. on the, uh, for oh, the, for yes. The okay, so that is, uh, that is a very large no. All right, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Softnum has decided to go check the uh, free character on the moon first. Not, not a bad play. Just depending on who it is. I mean, obviously, if this is Cecil there, well, he's got himself an X-Cal X -Cal power shirt Cecil at the moment. And he does not know he's in go mode, but he is, and let's face it, if there's nothing to push Garen toward ordeals, we may not be seeing that play anytime soon. Yeah. Yet, a darkness crystal just on a play for ordeals is huge on this flag set. Yeah, because you were mentioning earlier that we might see um, ordeals get faded by at least one of our runners, and it looks like that is exactly what happened. Yeah, it's such a long check, and unless Demas is there, you're really only getting the one. You're sinking three to four minutes in just on a hope and a prayer, to be perfectly honest. Oh. Softnum deciding uh, we're going to go for a little trip and uh, we're going to go see who the character of the Crystal Palace is. I don't know. I think, obviously, I think Softnum's hoping for Cecil, but an edge would be nice right now. Maybe an, maybe a Porum to have an alternate white mage and let Rosa just go ham. If it's Porum, I'll be very happy. I have heard you are a Porum fan. Oh my goodness, it is the pain lad. Okay. Not oh. quite the pain man, but it is an anagram of paladin. Yes. Um, so Cecil is getting a power shirt. He's getting an Excal. And he's gonna be uh, getting getting kind of drunk. And just gonna be going all sorts, all sorts of... Uh, all sorts of ham over this seed right now. Between that ordeals play getting hilarious go mode and finding the paladin on the moon, like everything is kind of coming up soft numb right now. Yeah. Unless Garen has something that pushes him to ordeals, I don't know that we see that. It looks like we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna take the hair dryer chest over here from Softenum, which is a good play. Oh, excuse me. 30 grand XP, close to 50 if you life glitch all three. That will get Cecil up and going in a hurry. I uh, can back row him and give him the... Well, it looks like we're going to set up cover Cecil here, at least for this fight, to keep people alive. But... Oh, did, um... Oh, wait, no. I thought that Softnum might have sold the Excalibur, but I don't think he ever actually got it, because he doesn't have the Magma Key. Right. He's so You're right, yes. He sold the White Spear uh, yeah. for Kane. Yes. So yeah, Softnum will get an Excalibur when he goes underground. I mean, we could walk walk out of here with, the, uh, with a Crystal Sword, you never know. <laughs> but we have found our hair dryers. Uh, do we have an Hourglass left? Uh... I don't know. It looks like we're just... Well, we're going to try to assort. It looks like we do not have an hourglass. I don't know if we can get through this fight. I don't think we can get through this fight right now. No. <clears throat> and there's the white from Softnum, so we may just... I think we may just head back to Earth on this one, yeah. And maybe come back up and do this one when we come back to the moon. Again, Softnum does not have underground access. He knows it's on the overworld. And he's very low on... Well, I take it back. Mag, you know, he knows it's on the overworld. So, he's running out of spots. I think we'll see Baron in next. I am obsessed with the fact that Softnum's only key item is the Darkness Crystal. <laughs> it really is the uh, the old kind of ZZ1, ZZ2. Find your Darkness or find your moon access, find your, your crystal, and just go. <laughs> G 
Garen has found a, a twin harp in uh, one of the monster boxes in Lower Babel. Kind of a meh item when it's not an objective, because everyone likes music, but nobody likes sitting through to be able to hear the music. Because that's almost as long as a check is ordeals. So I don't know that we'll see that anytime soon, but in Garen's spot, when you're just Darkness Crystal from Go Mode, I think almost everything has to be on the table. Because you you fade the one spot that has darkness, and you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Garen doesn't know that he's already fading that one spot. And let's face it, that's that's free enterprise at times. That's going to happen. So we'll that just see. We'll just see if anything pushes him over there. Yes. Very on brand for free enterprise. Yep. <laughs> That's uh, like that's what makes this uh, this so interesting because Garen is getting you know a lot of good uh, experience down here, finding lots of stuff, has underground access, has seen who the two Land of Summons bosses are, and meanwhile Sofnum just like beelined for the moon. Um, both of those things are kind of important, and uh, this is uh, this is really cool. I, I think both characters in the spots they're in have to feel. feel at least somewhat ahead. Softnum, I think, is feeling miles ahead that that play not only hit, but just w came up with a complete jackpot. Also, who who put the vanilla Dark Imps? Who put this vanilla in my seat? What, what? Okay, boss, not even randomized, lol, forehead. <sighs> what is this in my in vanilla in my rando seat? But Garen... Garen has done a lot of the underground already and has quite a bit of power and has to be thinking I'm just one item away I like the spot I'm in so Sofnum is in go mode at 38 minutes uh, Incredible. Has, and has two key items in the Magma King and the Darkness Crystal and Normally, you get your underground access at 40 minutes into a seed, and you're sweating. Because you, you know you could have had this literally from the beginning of the seed. You could have had this 30, 35 minutes ago. But that darkness crystal, the combination of, ha of darkness and magma right now, uh, you're sweating for a different reason because, oh no, what if my opponent did the same thing and we're both racing on a clock here. The excitement of playing in a randomizer race. Garen has found orbs and a bygan at the Rubicante spot, so that's not somebody we're going to pay attention to. Bygan can just go live underground and we don't care. Garen... Probably a couple Bahamas and we're through. Just got to avoid that, uh, avoid that Globe 99. The Cecil is about to be a huge advantage for Softnum. As if he didn't have enough already with that Darkness Crystal. Because he's, <laughs> he's gonna get the free Excal. Decent shot, we encounter a Crystal Sword before the end of the seed. I don't know that we've seen one in a shop yet. I think I think at this point, <coughs> excuse me, we're just missing the Baron Weapon Shop and the Hook Route Weapon Shot, so we probably won't see those. But we, we're probably looking at a four-party finish at this point. I don't know if we get a fifth character right now. This this might be it. Yeah, I have to wonder um what would what advantage would be provided by looking for more characters right now. It just feels like Sofnum has so much to work with right now. Uh I I think having an extra meat shield might not be the worst th worst thing in the world. Very true. Um it does unlock the uh 
the slingshot mechanic is available once you have five characters, but I think Cecil will be out of slingshot range, and that would be the one person you would want to slingshot right now. Softnum being the hero for the people, we are... Uh, it was some sort of artist. I didn't see exactly what, but the Job Dwarf is an artist today. Uh, apparently, we dodged Globe 99 uh, from from uh, the Luge spot, which is, I think, the lowest magic attack in the game. So, <laughs> good on our characters for dodging that. And we did walk out with a crystal, so... Yay. It's it's an item, I guess. It gets us closer to 10. <laughs> That's about all you can really say for it, unfortunately. Does the crystal do anything in these settings? Uh, it sits in your inventory, takes up a slot, and gets you closer to 10 key items. All right. Well, That's I guess it. that does something. <laughs> unfortunately, that is it. That is uh, it. Garen has found the sand ruby that can get us that yong if we want... That's maybe not a terrible thing for him to go pick up at the moment. Just, again, he only has the three characters, but Yang is going to take some time to get to get through here. Or to actually get to a point where he's fighting worthy. Yeah, and with no Zeromas to worry about, how much time do you want to invest in that? Yeah. We're going to get a little bit of a play here in Sylph. Uh, we haven't... Garen has not used any of those hourglasses yet, so we can use a couple here. Uh, I want to say Riddy has the heroin... No, Riddy has the crystal ring on, so... Is immune to the... Uh, is immune to the breath. As long as you can stop any of the effects caused by breath, you get, you're immune to all of them. So, we're just gonna fight our way through these mobiles here. Softum has found the Bahamut. Uh, he has found Blarg. But we're getting... Those heroin robes too. Yeah, getting closer in terms of the power imbalance, so Softnum has kind of a major advantage right now. Uh, how would you like a second Excalibur, Pidge? Oh, I would love one. Uh, all yours. Just, just, you know, dodge a couple breaths and it's, it's all yours. I mean, you know, I'm a pain man, I can't <laughs> equip it, but you know, I'll take it anyway. So, we had Softnum making the play for ordeals. Garen has decided to make the play for the Sylph monster boxes. It's... Sylph is very polarizing in this flag set. Because the seven monster boxes are great in terms of XP. It's a ton of checks. But they're not all in the, tr in the uh, key item pool. So you're usually only going to see two or three of them, maybe four in that key item pool that even have a chance to have a key item. Oh, is that really... true? I didn't know that. It's... It, it, the, uh, <clears throat> the monster boxes, they're weighted based on how many are in a given area, and usually it's about half of the uh, boxes in a given area will be a part of the key item. Uh, oh, okay. That cool. makes sense. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean... The, it, Seven shots at a key item, you know, Sylph would just be amazing. You turn on Moon, Moon as well, and Moon all of a sudden has, like, 15 checks just on its own. So this is really interesting on Softnum's side. Despite having the Darkness Crystal, he's still going for an underground objective. Might be thinking that uh, the enemies down here might be a little bit easier to take down. Berserking both of the two living fighters, that is a bold play, I like it. It did not work out, but uh, I liked where that was going. <laughs> We're a little bit low level for this spot right now, so I like the aggressiveness, but I think maybe we want to see what that sparkle is first. 
to just see if the, maybe that can give us a little bit of a power boost before going for uh, the Mega Sisters. Here we have that sparkle, and uh, oh, oh, good. Hi. <laughs> well, hello there, Wyvern. How nice of you to uh, aid in your own destruction. Funny so I haven't seen it in like I don't know how long I've been playing this game for. Yeah. <laughs> so we 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 have <laughs> I, I think the strat here is equip Rosa with the Arty arrows and wait for Wyvern to Zerk her uh for you. I I think that's all you do here. I can't get over how funny that is, dude. Look. <laughs> It's still a very dangerous fight because this is a very fast spot and let's face it nuke hurts and this spot has extremely high magic power as well oh yes so if Rosa gets zerked I like our chances to get through this oh it only hits the front row uh, according to Zeno but still, you've got three characters zerked. Do you risk casting Bahamut here? It's going to trigger a Mega Nuke counter, but it looks like we might be going for Bahamut strats here. I'm a fan. If you're going to cast it, I, I think you wait one more for, uh, attack from Rosa. And then cast Bahamut? But I don't think you... Yeah, no, we don't even need it. <laughs> Very nice, and we have our first objective of the night completed. We do have that objective. At the same time, uh, Garen, once again, hero of the people, going to find out what we have in... Uh, going to find our music tonight. So, uh, I, I, Pidge, are we talking to the music? Is that what we're doing? I... I, do, I can't hear it. I don't have audio. No. I messed up. Well, we will hear it shortly. Uh, I think chat wants us to be quiet so they can hear the music. So I, th I think we can oblige them for a moment. <clears throat> Enjoy all. We'll be back shortly. Excuse me. Uh, Dathus! Dathus! What did you do? <laughs> so, many things there. Uh, first, yes, that was Kefka's theme from FS6 that we got to hear a nice 15 or 20 seconds of before the vanilla Demas, or vanilla Dark Elf, decided, uh, no, I've had enough of this. And we're gonna phase swap and cancel the music. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> uh, there was also a pan from that. So Garen had already set up Sheila 1, but I think we're gonna run back underground and do that pan bonk. So that we can uh, go ahead and just get both done at once. Dofnum gonna take another swing at those take another swing at those mega sisters and 
Is, well, is Garen going to Tower of Zod? Uh, oh, it looks like Earth Crystal. Garen turned in Shield One and had Earth Crystal. So it looks like oh. we're gonna take. We're gonna see Flame Dog. We're also gonna take on. Uh, the see the characters from Zot. Automod, what what are you doing, Automod? Why? Uh, Automod is on one tonight. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, we found our we have found the flame doggo. Uh, I don't know. Garen has quite a bit of key items this point. Unfortunately, does not have the one we need in the darkness crystal. Mm hmm. But we are at eight key items on Garen's side, so we're at least close to ten. Uh, that's nine. Uh, spoon word is on the table. <clears throat> if there's a spoon here, we're uh, we're getting the whole world tour experience in this race tonight. This is um, pretty yeah. exciting. Yeah. Uh, did our restreamer put that spoon there? Did she know it was there this whole time? She's just waiting for one of our runners to find it. Uh. Oh, I thought I thought Softum had made it through the maze. It looks like we're just getting ready for them again. Uh, yeah, looks like a second or third attempt. Yeah, I don't. I I think we're going to Zerk Cecil here in a moment. Uh. Oh. Oh, we're just gonna... Oh, okay, we're gonna Zerk Rosa with the mute arrows. Got it. That makes more sense. And hope to get a behind... I guess... I guess we could cover it and we're hoping to get a behind... Okay, no, we're Zerking Rosa. There's that's left all. Good call with that wall going up. Um, Rydia, once again, going down for her nap. Uh... Okay. I look away, I look back, and there's no boss at uh, Zot 1. That Mylon did not live very long. Oh, and there's a Sid. Okay. Well, that's our sixth character. Softnum, at uh, the other uh, at the same time, has decided, no, we're going to leave the Mega Sisters there, and that might be the one objective we just straight up fade. Looks like we might be taking a couple monster boxes here at Sylph for a little XP, or we may just be going straight to Sheila 1. There is a Cecil. Ooh. That might be the saving grace for Garen here. Oh yeah, that could uh, lead Garen to our deals, and then this race might look very different from how it's looking right now. Not just that, this this could be 10 key items for Garen as well, in which case you absolutely want that Cecil. And the freest of the non-free bosses, Edge's parents are waiting for us up at the Tower of Zot. They're, I, I think they just got confused on their towers. I think that's all it is. Soft them? I think we might be going toward Dwarf, looking for characters. I'm not sure what... I mean, we may just be healing to get ready for the moon. No, we're going to do Dwarf. This seed is going places. This is really exciting. <laughs> it's a decent amount of XP here at Dwarf. It'll be close to 50 grand. It's enough if you want to go for the giant... At that point, you at least have a chance there. Which will then set you up for the rest of the moon objectives. That is a package that is 10 key items for Garen. That is another shot at a character if he wants. Uh, the t 10 key items in Free Enterprise, uh, there, is a, there is a setting where once you get 10 of the 17 key items, uh, all of your experience points will be doubled for the rest of the seed. So Garen now has that. Every boss fight will be giving twice the XP. Uh, this first fight at uh, at uh, Ordeals will give about six to 7,000 XP instead of the 35 or so. What it really matters for is the giant. 
because the giant will give you a nice 500 grand if you go do it with 10 key items. So all of a sudden, that will put giant on the table for Garen. Especially because he's about to find out he's in go mode and does not know it. He's going to get his darkness crystal in the next couple of fights. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that 10 key items followed by going down the right path to the darkness crystal. Whew, that is going to turn things around for Garen very quickly. It's a, our tracker, Dave in the chat, bringing up a good point. The hairdryer's chest on the moon with <laughs> three life glitches is going to be... 100 grand XP for the party and will be 200 grand for Cecil because he's in that slingshot range where he will be more than five levels lower than the median character of your party. The third highest level character of the party. So that will immediately put Garen ahead in terms of power. That is going to be one powerful pain lad. Yep, the question right now is, is it enough time to make up the advantage Softenum has with the Darkness Crystal early? Potentially. Um, Softenum, I think, is... is, is so How is Softenum doing on EXP? He's quite... A, he's a decent amount lower. Uh, it's not incredibly far behind, but he, he is lower. Although, again, I, if... That could just change in an, in a heartbeat if we go to uh, if we go to giant. Bro. I'm just thinking with most of the objectives being on the moon, if um if Sophnum is struggling to take down Mega Sisters in Land of Summons, um how are the moon fights gonna look? It all depends who we fight up, who we find up there. That, yeah, that's, that's the issue right now. Yeah, exactly. I think at this point, from the knowledge that we currently have, it's still anyone's race. Yes, it just got a lot closer. This is so Whoa. exciting. <laughs> yeah. One virus, and we are through the wall. Garen at fifty-nine minutes is in go mode, and. I have to assume is going straight to the moon right now. It's... I don't know how we're going to... going to feel about the Cecil on the moon. I mean, we have one already, so it's not as bad. But I have to think we go to the moon and see what, if anything, are we going to try to avoid. I feel like that's the play here. With the 10 key items, the giant is no longer the insta fade that it was before. Oh, interesting. Sophnum is choosing to go into the tower instead of up to the moon. Or... Yeah, maybe second thought... Or maybe just wants to heal. Yeah. Garen is launching his will. We'll be headed up to the moon. And yeah, we have neither of half of Forge at the moment, so that objective is off the table. Uh, Sophnum appears to be hunting down key items, which I understand wanting to get to 10 key items. It's just... You're at four, it's going to take a long time to get there. We'll see yeah. how long he decides he wants to fish for key items right now. Now, could Sophnum also be trying to get EXP from the trap chest in here? Before a heading little... up to the, to the moon, or is this, like, not significant? The eyeballs themselves are only about 2,000 XP. Oh, jeez. So it's, it's not great. You could... If you wanted to, you, you could use the Chimera uh, eyeball as a little bit of a grind, but it's not extremely efficient. Yeah, I think we're just hunting for key items right now. Garen is... Garen wants power shirts. <laughs> I think that's what we're here for. Yeah. 
Yep. And we have <laughs> we have five hundred grand. We want all the power shirts. <laughs> I gotta say, shoutouts to Nakuri for the uh, shop tracker that he re he uh, wrote before this tournament. It's I've started using it recently. It is a great little tool to just keep everything in mind for this seed or for this flag set. And we're going moon first. Which very well could be that hair dryer chest. But I I, I think information is the key right now finding out what do we have in terms of boss spots because that's going to determine what, what we see the moment we see something awful that's going to be the one we skip we know that right now until then i think it's going to be trying to avoid uh or the, uh giant looks like garen is going straight for the hair dryers Good play. Yeah, this is going to be 200 grand for Cecil, so he's instantly going to be in the high 30s, low 40s. There's really not... A, I don't know if there's a much better play than that right now, to be honest. Uh, Stid is also going to get a uh, slingshot here and is going to end up with 200 grand XP. So we're going to have, like, a 3,500 HP chemist. Uh that can tank just about anything if you need him to so this is a big a big play here for for Garen yeah Garen is going to be extremely powerful for all the moon objectives yeah I yeah I think you go straight for Cave Bahama here this, that you, sounds reasonable. Yeah. Rosa deciding, nah, my hair, it, my hair is fine. I don't need four hair dryers. Let, let's eliminate <laughs> a few. Look, four hair dryers are, is enough to light a lot of things on fire. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, did not quite kill that one. Uh, or well. Not quite one-shotting these at the moment, but the back ones have a little bit more HP than the front ones. But it looks like we're getting through. We're going to get our 100 grand XP and 200 on Sid and Cecil. Incredible. Yeah, and uh, 34, 34 levels. levels. <laughs> that is one powerful paladin. And 11 for Sid. Like, that's a hook. So if we want to, we could turn in that pink tail and see if we can come in with a come up with a crystal sword. Ooh. That's a thought. I wonder if that's the play. Oh, I thought oh. we were going to giant for a moment. <laughs> Looks like yeah, we're just going straight to Cave Bahamut. Yeah, Cave Bahamut seems like a reasonable play here. Yeah, Moonville would also be good for the pink tail basically makes one fight uh, remaining at these objective spots free. A coffin would not be so good. I... I a, you're usually happy to see coffins in shops, not not from a pink tail. You're very <laughs> sad to see a coffin from a pink tail. Uh, Rosa... That, the, ow. Um, that hurt. Rosa took a globe to the face. Oh, dear. That's, and Rydia t Oh, that's actually trouble. Because we were queuing up another Bahamut. We have a little time to recover here. But the healing on the big orb is going to start. We need to get rid of that attack, uh, that uh, defender as soon as possible. That is an Ogopogo in Cave Bahamut. Okay. So who's going to take 3,000 damage in the front row? That's the real question right now. I feel like the Canadian milk noodle is something you don't really want to see anywhere. <laughs> uh, yeah. Rydia with a... That's a geared-up Rydia taking 1,600 damage in the back row. 
Uh... Ow. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rosa with the heroin robe. Did you feel anything? That tickled. Cubs, I don't know if I ever told you, like, where the Nope Noodle came, name came from. It's just one time I heard Scala referring to Ogopogo as both the Danger Noodle and the Nope Rope, and I thought those were both really funny, but I was not very smart and I couldn't remember, like, <laughs> I would try to say one or the other, and then just say both at the same time, so it became the Nope Noodle. Oh, Soft Thumb escaping. Getting to a, or if there was not much time left, but Soft Thumb getting through the uh, CPU there. And will be rewarded with a, a hunk of rock. <laughs> one more key item closer to yeah. ten. <laughs> the no I I... I applaud you for coming up with some of these things. Hey <laughs> man, nope, no, I... Well done, thank you. No, nope, no, it was a total accident, and it was based on nope. someone else's jokes. I feel like I shouldn't be credited <laughs> for it. Well, I'm sure Scala, Scala and chat will be happy to share the credit with you for that one. Well, Garen is through the Ogopogo. Oh. Okay. All right. There's another have 60, we, 60 grand, I guess. <laughs> have we seen all seven characters in the seat out of curiosity? No, we've only seen six. We've only Yang, seen six. Yang is the sixth. We have a package, so we could check that character if we wanted to. I think at this point it's Baron, Package, Hook, and Giant left. I see. At this point, I don't think either one of them are really hurting for uh, extra firepower. No. Really, the only thing might be to go check the weapon shop for in the hook route for a crystal sword. Bro. But you're just as likely to find one in one of these moon spots, to be perfectly honest. And Excal's not a bad backup for that. Garen finding his second Cecil that, with three Excaliburs, really wishes he could take right now, but sadly, no dupes. <laughs> and I, I would to be honest, in the six or seven weeks of playing Seeds in this flag set, this is the first time I have seen the Crystal Sword Altar as an objective. I don't know how it's Whoa. taken this long. But we're going to see the Crystal Sword Altar today. Shock of all shocks. Uh, we're leaving the Murrah Altar and the White Spear Altar behind. And we're just going to head down. For, assume we're going to go to Crystal Sword first. All the XP... This seed has all the XP we ever are going to want. Because we've got... The five, the five hundred grand from the giant, two hundred grand from the ribbon room, the hundred grand that Garen just got from the hair dryer chest. We might actually see nuke from Rydia here, which is kind of rare in these flags. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is going to be one of the strongest parties I think we'll, we will see on this flag set for some time. One hour, ten minutes in the seed. Want to give a big shout out to our restream team tonight, Oscar four two four for this absolute gem of a seed. Dave pushing the buttons, keeping them safe from marsupials. Uh, my co-commentator, Pidge. It's been an honor to have you back in the booth tonight. Very thank much enjoying this. Thank you so much for uh, no poking <laughs> me back into this, man. <laughs> I, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I'm just giddy over here. <laughs> me too. When you um, pitched this idea to me originally, I was, I, w I definitely wanted to do it. I've just been so busy lately, but today of all days, I was going to make time for it, my friend. Thank you yes. for pulling me on the comms with you. It's been great to be back. We're, we're here on this wonderful Earth Day, and we're, we're enjoying free enterprise. Wait, wait. Is that what today is? I don't know. <laughs> um, 
our runners. If you're not following them already, please give them a follow as well. Garen and Softnum. Softnum is headed back to take another shot at the Mega Sisters. Garen, at the other hand, has found you. Has found Val at Crystal Sword. We have Kane. Shockingly, Kane is important to this party for once. Uh, getting Val out of that tornado form, so now we can just blow her up. Because Val has perfect magic defense at every spot here on the moon. So Those beautiful quad dines, though. Delicious. Yes. Getting her out of the tornado form actually lets Bahamut hit. Well, never mind. We are through Val. Very and that's nice. two objectives down for Garen taking the lead. And another 120,000 XP for his trouble. <laughs> sure, another Artie bow. Why not? We'll take it. We won't say no to it. Meanwhile, Softnum trying his luck again with the Mega Sisters underground. Quite a bit more XP on his characters this time. I think we'll be okay. Also, using Cecil to cover. Should get Bahamut off, which will help. The Outer Sisters here have about 9,000 HP each. Cindy in the middle having roughly 17 to 18,000. So, a couple Bahamut casts and we should be through. We also have Asura as backup if we need, but I think the cover Cecil and very angry Rosa are going to get us through this. <laughs> That is a very, very upset white mage. <laughs> and a very, very dead sister. Who do we have at the ribbon room? Oh, oh. good! Oh. oh! Oh! Hi! A pain asshole! Yeah, 42,000 HP of a turtle. That's this a... You know all that XP that we were just happy to have? Yeah, we need it all. That now. turtle's beefier than Bowser at the start of Paper Mario. Yeah. Uh, Softnum, Cecil took a nap, but we're able to get through those Mega Sisters. This turtle, if Wave gets off, Wave at full HP is going to do somewhere in the range of about 2,000 damage. That's gross. Yeah, 4 to 6% of... 42,000 is a lot. Uh, Bahamut, though, should cut into that nicely. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's a whole 9,000. Yeah, my guess is we're somewhere around 15 to 20,000 damage at this point, so Wave is much less of a concern. Uh, unfortunately, a little early with those Thor races, so we might see a Wave, but it's going to be severely reduced damage. Uh, I think Rydia is going... If anyone dies, it's going to be Rydia. That wave should be queued right now, even though the Thor Rage is coming out. So we should see wave in a moment, but we might even be at a point where Rydia can live through this. Nope, Rydia, Rydia taking a nap, but we get her back up. I don't think we see another one. Uh, Kainazo in his base form is weak to ice. When the waves are up, He's weak to, uh, he's weak to electric attacks. So, damage. this is a race right now. Um, I don't think, Softnum is, I don't think the city way Softnum goes to the giant. But the question is, does Garen want to try to avoid one of the Fey March bosses and go toward the giant? I don't think so with all the XP that he's going to have after this moon. So I th I think we're going to see him mop up here in Ribbon and Masa and then run to the Fey March. And it's just, it's a, it's a race at this point to see who can clear these remaining spots first. That's it. This is such an exciting race. Uh, Garen did not check that sparkle, no. 
Yeah, this got close in a hurry. Yeah. After, they, yeah. They, like, diverged so far on their strategies, and then they both ended up in the same place, same number of objectives completed. But because of that history, you know, Garen is getting EXP faster. It might take longer for Sokdom to take out these bosses, but they're still both, like, about to hit three out of six goals. Garen also has the Sid at the moment that Sofnum doesn't. This is and true. a 3,000 HP Sid is going to be able to take a lot of hits that Sofnum's party is not going to be able to handle. This is... This is... Ooh. Uh, well, we're going to get a Blaze counter here. Ooh. Off of the Bahamut. Which is not horrible if you can get a cure healed or cured up fast enough. Oh yeah, and that it, wasn't very much, was it? Uh, yeah, it's 25% uh, uh, of your HP is Blaze. It's just like Big oh, Wave. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. That's right. But... Oh. Rosa's gonna go down to this Big Wave. This Ogo is gonna hurt. This is this one of the strongest attack spots in the game. Oh. Well, there was a hitch there. I thought for a brief second we had it, an alt gauntlet Ogo, but instead it's just uh, Dr. Textbox. <laughs> Dr. Textbox, I like that. Yeah. You know, and that, that's going to be the white for Softnum, unfortunately. So this may end up being the fade for Softnum. Uh, oh. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. No, it looks like Sofnum did not save before or after fighting the Mega Sisters. I think, oh, yeah. Oh no, that is heartbreaking. Yeah, I think oh, we're, no. that is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, you hate to see that kind of thing happen. No, that, yeah, that is very unfortunate right there. Un look, we've all been there in races. We're going fine. We're, we're just, you just make your way through. You're feeling fine. And then something punches you in the face and you're like, when was the last time I saved? And then you get Ogo Pogo'd. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I, I, I. I think just about everyone in the chat has done this once uh, once or twice in the past, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, <sighs> Garen making his way through Luge. You gotta love Luge. He's, he poisoned your party, and then he's so kind to try and let you, to put you down for a nap, and no. No. Although, Ogo is now gone. That is four objectives for Garen. <laughs> and receives a crystal sword for his trouble. Yeah. Um. Cecil, yes. So, you wanted Cecil to be stronger, right? That, that That's what you wanted? <laughs> I have to think this is going to the Fey March now. You don't need the XP from the giant. Uh, yeah, we're just going straight to the Fey March. <clears throat> With a little bit of uh, poison walk for the fans. Softum has made it back through the Mega Sisters. A much easier fight this time. And I, I, I would assume, at least for the moment, we are not going back to Cave Bahamut. Maybe after doing a couple more of these moon bosses. Pidge, Pidge was that low level? No, it was uh, most of the stuff. Ah. Uh. Because, like, if you sell your rock candies in low level, like, big deal, just go farm them again. You sell them in most of the stuff, oh dear. 
<laughs> you are not making estimate, my friend. <laughs> Look, I want my super suit, okay? <laughs> Gotham dis deciding that, as is the case in Free Enterprise, all problems are solved by levels. Oh, I thought we were going for Shilla 1. Oh, picking up some Cure 2s to be able to act with a little bit of chemist help. And yes, there's Shilla 1, so we're going for 10 key items. We're at 7 for Sofnum. This will get him 8. This is Earth Crystal. So 10 is not too much longer and then I think we'll head back to the moon yeah, Garen if all goes well in the Fey March which I don't see why I wanted given how many levels they have is probably minutes away from finishing the seed yeah I think we will uh, neither of these bosses should cause too much trouble in fact uh, Wyvern is just going to kill himself here uh I don't know if we equipped the Dragoon Spear. I know Garen picked one up on the moon. But if he did, um, Kane is just gonna laugh. <laughs> Zerk, yeah, you, you have Cecil with a Crystal Sword. You don't really need much else to see. <laughs> that is it. Softnum is going to head back for the moon. Uh, trying to say, yeah, it looks like we're going back to the moon. Uh, probably going to Crystal Sword Altar. Although, the moon... The moon monster boxes, even though they don't have key items uh, in this flag set, might be on the table just for some XP. Uh, there was a change in the most recent release that the moon boxes are only... A part of the key item pool if K Unsafe or K Moon are on, and neither of those are on in this flag set. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know about that. Yeah, it's. I mean, the, the moon boxes are just their own level of of difficulty, so have have a little bit of something uh, to, just to kind of take just to keep away from the from the moon, just a little bit. Very fair. We are through Mega Sisters already for Garen. Not gonna save going. St uh, maybe change their mind. <clears throat> ah, I see. Going back to the R Euro. Good call. Because you don't know what's gonna be here. Rewarded with Wyvern. I don't think we equipped the Dragoon Spear, but it's not gonna. Ma yeah, we saw the White Spear. It's not gonna matter. Uh, Wyvern is not long for this world. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, 5,000 damage to swing from Cecil there. I don't even know if, uh, Rosa will get a chance to Zerk herself. Nope. <laughs> There 7, we go. from Cecil to finish it. That is objective number six for Garen. We just wait for that congratulations screen to appear, and that will be GG. With a final time of roughly one hour and 25 minutes, Garen has won this race, and that is a GG from us. <clears throat> Very GG's well done. I think that uh, that puts uh, Garen's team BYOB up 1-0 uh, over uh, the quad Golbez. Yes, uh, not over, of course. There's still two races left in this in this uh, matchup for the week. I uh, do right. not know when those are. Uh, that is a ding. I believe that is Garen. Is is that Garen? Yes. Good evening, guys. GG. Well done. Well played. Thank you. That was an interesting seed. Yeah. Um, so ordeals. That's uh, that's become a thing in this flag set, hasn't it? <laughs> well, you know, last seed I did it, and it was the wrong choice. This time I faded it. That was also the wrong choice. So, <laughs> yay. <laughs> yeah, it was... I don't know how much you've talked to Softa. Softa did forfeit on seeing the finish from Garen. I don't know how much you two have talked, but... 
Stofna made the counterplay to Rush Ordeals and had the Darkness Crystal about 15 minutes into the seed. And it just kind of got walled by Mega Sisters a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, you were just running through, finding key items left and right, and by the time you found Darkness, you had 10 key items, so it was kind of a, a just a straight shot through a little bit of XP to, for the rest of the seed. Yeah, that hair dryer is pretty good over there if you uh, still have an hourglass with you. Yes. I know I've started taking, trying to save a tower hourglass to take it early, but if you can wait and use it for a slingshot, that's really all the XP you're going to need for most of the seed. Yeah, I got hey. some slot line, one fight. Yeah. Hidge, uh, any thoughts? Um, about the seed? That was, uh, that was a really seed. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a whole lot to add that you didn't already say. Um, Pubs, what was it that I was losing my mind laughing at earlier? Uh, the fact that before the seed started, I asked for the darkness crystal in, uh, at ordeals. Yeah, and, that was, and, um... And it happened. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, that was definitely a thing that happened. <laughs> I was predicting, uh, the gauntlet over at Resume, and when I had the little pause, it's like, uh-oh, is that actually it? <laughs> yeah, I saw that pause, and it's like, oh... Oh, aww. dang it! That <laughs> <laughs> Look, we, that's the fun of being in the booth. We don't have to worry about what the seed is actually throwing at you. That was um, that was a very exciting race. Just seeing how both runners uh were extremely divergent for. Up, in, up until that second darkness crystal was found, then it kind of all came together. But uh, yeah, very very well done on uh, on that uh, first place finish. Yeah, there were some nasty bosses up there on the moon. Uh, the Ogo at Cape Bahamut, the Turtle in the Ribbon Room. Without th that, could have been awful for a lower level team those those uh, the 10 items really came in handy there and all the power shirts the zeus gauntlets the heroines the arty bows all that kind of fun stuff he was loaded with equipment early on not of cash yeah fey march was like a treasure trove for for this seed and as if you didn't need more power in the just, you know, have a crystal sword for taking out uh, <laughs> Dr. Tylock. <laughs> that would have been sad if it had been my sixth out of six. Any thought in your mind to hit the giant once you saw uh, Darkness Crystal? Only if one of the four moon bosses have been impossible. When they were, it's like, you're not doing giant. <laughs> We did not get to see DKC, unfortunately, so... I'm really upset about that, by the way. <laughs> the the Pain Man is hiding out there. Uh, Pitch, we're gonna have to have you back in the booth to uh, to catch him next time. I'll be down. I, you know, I could always uh, yep. use more commentary practice. It's been a long time, after all. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Garen, uh, any final thoughts? Uh, it is late, I'm sure we all... We're all ready for a little bit of sleep, but uh, any final thoughts on the race tonight? Uh, no, I mean, it was, it was a nice, challenging race. That should be fun to watch it back and um, see how it played out with both sides. And I get to take a rest next week because uh, this is my third out of three. So uh, looking nice. forward, looking forward to Moonvale Mixer or kind of wishing we were sticking with the Potion Party flag. Uh, ask me in about four weeks. Fair enough. <laughs> well, GG, very well done. Getting ha getting one spot up there on the board for the team this week. We'll have to see how the rest of it plays out. Uh, thank you. you thank you very much for being here tonight. All right. Thank you for the commentary and the restreams, and uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks.
Softnum, uh, on seeing the forfeit or the finish from Garen, did did forfeit and has uh, chosen not not to join us for an interview. I don't blame him. Uh, very well, uh, very well run. Uh, was very close most of the way. Uh, it just Garen ended up with a little bit of a power advantage after he got that darkness crystal and was able to ru uh, run from there. Yeah, when they were both on the moon, that race looked like it could honestly go either way. That was very, very exciting. Uh, so welcome back to the booth, Pidge. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it's been fun to be back. Um, I've been very clearly out of the game for so long that I've uh, forgotten how a lot of very basic things work. So uh, I'm going to brush up on that a little bit, I think, because I'd, uh, I'd love to do this with you again sometime. I'm down. Uh, that's... I mean, I, 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 li I like playing, but being in the booth with friends is always nice. It's because it's, you know what, as much as we like playing Seeds, it's also fun to watch others suffer through Seeds. Because Shot and <laughs> Droid is real. <laughs> that is going to be it for us tonight. Uh, we do have uh, a couple of races. We have actually... <laughs> A race in about an hour and a half, uh, 1 a.m. Eastern Time. It is not being restreamed, but there is there will be a Cadgar up for it. Uh, Noob Tree versus Bursic Badger, again, 1 a.m. Eastern, so about 90 minutes from now. Uh, and then a few races that, well, let's face it, I I'm very much interested in. Uh, I guess uh, we, we have our uh, League Time races tomorrow. Uh, I will be in one of them, uh, the 8 o'clock race with uh, Doc, Dr. Kosek, uh, and I believe it's Neon Gray versus Cecil 2 in the other half of that uh, league time at 8 p.m. Eastern. And at 10 p.m. Eastern, uh, it is another league time. I'm not sure who, to be honest. But keep an eye on that. Uh, the 8 o'clock race will be on the May on here on uh, Free Enterprise, the 10 o'clock race will be on Free Enterprise 2. So please join us for that, as well as several other races throughout the day. Uh, if you aren't following our runners, please follow that, or please fix that, get that taken care of. Garen and Softnum uh, put on an amazing show for all of us tonight. And then uh, our, comment, our restream team tonight, Asuka with the this, this may be one of the best seeds I've ever seen out of her. The, 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 this was an amazing seed from start to finish. This Day. was thoroughly enjoyable. I'm glad that this was the seed that I came back to. Yeah, this was... Other than not finding DKC, this was everything we could have hoped for. Dave, handling the buttons behind the scenes. Thank you for not eating them. Pidge, again, the pleasure was mine having you back. This, this was a whole lot of fun. Same for me. Thank you so much for talking me into yeah. it. <laughs> that uh, 10 p.m. race tomorrow on Free Enterprise 2 will be Beauty and Discovery versus Commander Leonhart and Crispy Slick versus Amareth, both at, again, 10 p.m. Eastern on Free Enterprise 2. Again, there are many races throughout the day. Please keep an eye on the Cadgar. Uh, we are done here on Free Enterprise tonight, but we will be headed over to John Burkhead, uh, the Brick himself. Just doing a little potion party practice. Remember, no spoilers. Uh, you spoil the uh, the newspapers, we'll find you. But thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Y'all have been great. Stay safe out there. We appreciate you all. And until next time, have a good night. See you later. <laughs>